just picked up this Android 10 inch stereo for my car. First impressions are it's pretty good. I watched a couple videos and it seems like it's getting pretty decent reviews. So I thought I would try it out. I've got an older 2010 Nissan Versa. Um, no steering wheel controls or anything like that. Just a basic install. Do yourself a favor if you're going to install this and order the correct wiring harness adapter for your car. All you have to do is push the wires together like this and then you're done. Or if it doesn't work, you're going to have to use buck connectors. In my case, this is what I'm using. Um, you can solder, you can twist, and use tape if you have to, but I suggest not going that route. Um, these wires do come pre-stripped, but some of them, I guess they missed, so I had to use some wire strippers there. Just going to go down the entire wiring harness uh, adapter. This is the end that plugs into the car, and I'm going to put butt connectors on every single wire and work my way through the harness and it should look like this when you're done and you can grab the harness that plugs into the back of the stereo and see if you can get them all to line up in one try or two tries and just push really hard and uh, probably not going to work so you're going to have to take your time and go down the line and match each color up to the corresponding color on the opposite harness. It is a bit tedious, but it's necessary. After each crimp, always make sure to test the, the crimp to make sure that it doesn't pull apart. Anyways, you ha should have something similar to this once you've got them all crimped together. And in my case, like I said, I'm not going to be using uh, steering wheel um, controls or a remote amplifier. So there, I have a couple wires left over. I'm just using a heat gun here to shrink all the butt connectors, allowing that glue to make contact with all the wires. It adds extra strength to the harness. Um, this orange wire is your illumination wire for the lights on the side of the unit and it requires a positive lead to turn them on so um, the car harness comes with one that's orange and black or orange and white the orange and white is going to be your positive lead um, i had it uh, connected incorrectly so i'm just going back here cutting the harness and um, extending that wire so orange goes to orange and white if you want your lights on your stereo unit the uh, your push buttons to be illuminated all the time you can take the orange wire from the back of the stereo and twist it together with the red wire and then crimp those together with the red wire on the opposite harness and that will turn your your uh, stereo lights on as soon as the unit itself turns on when you turn the key on so they'll be on all the time even during the day any extra wires on the harness, I just fold them back over and tape them to themselves. That way I can always access them later if I decide to change anything out. Instead of cutting them and then wishing I hadn't cut them down the, down the road. So the only two I had left on this side is the remote um, wire, which is that blue wire. Also, the It's also an antenna wire. And then the illumination wire for a dimmer which this does not have that feature so no need for those wires and then I'm just going to add some tape on starting on each side of all the butt connectors to add a little bit of extra strength that way if the harness ha happens to get pulled on during the installation process you don't have to worry about it pulling those wires apart here's the uh, unit installed into my bezel of this 2010 Nissan Versa. It happens to fit perfectly snug in there. Um, I use these uh, screw holes that are on the side of the unit for installation and they just happen to work perfectly and pinch the uh, plastic on both sides and holds it nice and snug. Um, I've seen people using like silicone or hot glue or something to install theirs. Uh, you have to get creative with it because it's very weird installation, very non-traditional, uh, but it turned out okay in this uh, particular case. So the unit I bought came with a backup camera. 
I'm not going to install it in this video. Um, I think it's going to take a little bit of trial and error to figure out what all the wires are. So I'm going to do a video on that once I know what I'm doing. Um, and at that same time, I'll be installing the GPS unit there. It does come with two USB um, ports. Um, I ordered a tire pressure monitoring system that I'm going to be using one of those ports for. I'll probably do a video on that as well. Um, it looks like that's a pretty cool feature. Um, as far as the rest of the wiring um, harness, I did not use at this time. Um, I did order a, uh, it's like a real-time um, monitoring system that shows like your speed, your tachometer, um, your miles per gallon and stuff like that. And it hooks up through Bluetooth and I'll be doing a video on that once I get that in. Um, I heard that, or I've read that there's an app that you can, you know, install on this unit that allows you to get real-time stats on on your car and it was really cheap I think it was like $13 but it, once I hooked up all the harnesses here um, just snapped the bezel back in place of course every installation is going to be different depending on what car you have but it's pretty simple as far as uh, this 2010 Nissan Verso was concerned but um, as you can see the side lights turn on I want to turn the lights to the car on makes a huge difference they're really hard to see at night without those lights um, I had this stereo just for one day drove around with it during the daytime just to kind of test it out play around with it um, my first impressions were I thought it was pretty awesome to be honest uh, for the price I think it was 110 shipped I don't think there's anything really out there that will compete uh, sound quality was pretty good um, it was pretty loud pretty clear um, Bluetooth and everything was quick it connected fast no problems finding my phone um, I haven't had a chance really to download many apps or play with anything like that, so I'll be doing that over the next week or so. But if it's something you're considering getting, I um, highly recommend it as far as what I've found out from the first day and watching some other videos and reviews. seems like everybody has pretty positive things to say about it. Uh, make sure to check out the videos I've got coming up next. Uh, I'll be doing, like I said, the... Uh, rear camera install and a couple of extra add-ons the TPMS the tire pressure monitoring system and then that real-time um, data information hopefully that works out good and we'll get that tested out y'all take care and have a good one